everyone, this is Will B with my first vlog, and it is of a science experiment I just completed way ahead of time, and so I thought nothing better of making a vlog about it, I've always wanted to do this. So, well, this is of the law of buoyancy, and let me check my notes here, forgot the name of it. Cartesian Diver. Now that is a uh, quite interesting theory. I, I still don't get how it works. I guess I'll figure that out a little bit later. So what a Cartesian Diver is, is it is a little buoyant object that when you put it in a bottle and seal it airtight and give it a squeeze, it drops down and sinks. And I'm like, that's so cool. So um, I was really excited to do this build. So, here we are. This is my first ever Cartesian Diver, and I did this just earlier today. It is of a eyedropper with uh, a large paper clip and a smaller paper clip attached to the end. And this flow, this is my first ever one. And I'll, later in the video, I will show you how they float. This is my second one, and it is a little bit simpler than the first, but same concept. The first one actually uses trapped water inside of the tube and a little bit of air to keep it float. My third one, this is a, um, our project was about creating it with a sea-like interface. So I, then I started focusing on the main topic, like the sea life and buoyancy. So then I had a little piece of plastic seaweed. It's still a little wet from going in, but... Then I attached a few paper clips to keep it down, and that is how it floats, is a straw with a smaller paper clip. And then, my most interesting one yet, a dolphin. And this little guy took a long time to make, but I finally did him. And so, it's a dolphin figure. It's a regular dolphin figure. Pull me over here. I have. It was one of these, just in the dolphin form. And what I did is I took a Dremel and I hollowed him out. And when I did that, I was able to put a straw with one sealed end and one open end, and that creates a stopper so it doesn't go flow right through. Just like this is, just it's only one, it's not a connected straw. And then I put a weight, just to give it some extra um, buoyancy, or some extra weight. So, and then I hot glued it, and hot glue actually makes it a little lighter. And I did, learned that earlier in uh, my science experiment while well, I was creating these. Alright, now the fun part. You actually get to see them dive. Let's hope they work and they haven't failed on me. So, here's the first one. This is a 2 liter Coca-Cola bottle. They, here we go. Alright, so it's looking good and you can see it's just above the water. And so, oh, that fell off. When I seal this air tight, and I give it a squeeze, it sinks. I'll do it over here so you guys can see it. Give it a squeeze, and it sinks. I'm like, amazing when I first figured that out. I was so overjoyed. All right, let's move on to the prototype two. Where's my eye? Okay, this is my little grabber thing in my bobber. It got snapped on my first try. So, I grab my things out of here. right out. Beautiful. So 
that down, let it dry. Then I have prototype number two. It is a basic end of a straw with paper clip attaching them both. And a large paper clip for weight. And you go. Okay, and you can see it's just above the water again. And that's what I, my main goal was to keep them just above the water. Alright, here we go. Let's go over here so you can see. And it sinks. And this one is the quickest sinking and I can make it hover in the middle for you. And I can make it sink. Go up. That's the quickest sinking I had. Had. And that was my second try. And I'm like, yeah, I got this now. Okay. Now, Mr. Seaweed. This. Same design as this. Just. It has. Plastic seaweed, nothing much. So, in you go. And that one has failed me once. Now. It probably has water in the straws, and that's something you have to make sure that doesn't happen. And so what I just did is I made sure the straw had nothing in it that was weighing it down. And I just gave it a quick tap. And in you go. And there you go. It's the problem when it's floating just above the water. And... Give it a squeeze, and there she goes, down to the bottom, and back up again. And now we have the grand finale, the one, the fruit of my works. So, when I got to this point, I was like, okay, I'm actually going to create something. And then my dad started working on one, he's like, I want to create one too. So, we had a race. Who can create the most interesting one the fastest? And so I said, okay. So he grabbed a little whale, and I grabbed a dolphin. And I set to work, hollowed out that, and then I thought, all right, how am I going to do this? And then I kind of saw he was putting a straw down here to create it floating on its belly. But I'm like, I'm going to go with what this does, float on its top. So, I drilled a hole, attached this with a simple paper clip like I did this one right here. And then it kind of, you know, sunk. So, put some glue, put a weight, and it goes. Guy has a little problem. It's good again. Once he's in, he's amazing. There he is. Floating, floating, floating. Alright. And he's above the water again. Give it a squeeze. And it's not working. And there she goes. This one requires a little bit more pressure than the others, but it works. So, there you go. Now you can see floating. Alright, here it goes, floating down. Thank you for watching. This is Will B and his first vlog.